In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload emails to the database table using PHP. So let's go back to our coding. And here you can see we have the form. We have some input field called username, email, and password. So here we are going to add one more div here. And in this team, we're going to add an input field for the image. So for the image input field, we need to say here file and let's say the name will be my underscore image. And let me just add some line breath here, here and here. So let me just set this. And if we now just refresh here, there you can see we have a image upload option. So right now what we're going to do is that first of all, when we just upload the image from here, let's set this all. If we just upload the image and click on this register button, it will upload that image to a folder over here. Okay. So right now, uh, what we are going to do is that here you can see we have a form. So inside this form, we need to say here action hash method push and we need to say here inc type it will be multi part slash form data form dash data. So whenever you are uploading a file, you need to say in the form inc type equal multi part slash form data because you are trying to upload a file. So right now, Whenever someone click on this button, into type subject button, it will call this if condition. There you can see uh, if is set dollar underscore post register, which is our button name. Uh, here you can see our button name is register. So whenever someone click on that button, it will come here. And here after this hash, we are going to write the code to upload our image. So first of all, we're going to declare a variable. Let's say here dollar image underscore name. So first of all, we'll get the image. So for it, we need to say here dollar underscore files and make sure that this files is capital. And here we're going to mention our image file name. So uh, our for image, the name is my underscore image. So I can just copy this and I will paste this here after that we again give to third bracket and we'll say here name then uh, we already have the image name so right now every image has a name and extension so what is the extension for example uh, let me just show you an image for example here you can see i have an image here so this is the image name 14 and dot jpg this is the extension so what we are going to do is that we are going to separate the name and image extension. So for it, we are going to declare another variable. Let's say here dollar $TMB equal to, we'll say here explode. And here we are going to give two double quotation and inside it, we'll give a dot. And here we are going to say stop screen. We are going to say this image underscore name. And in this with a semicolon. So what this will do, it will separate our image and the image extension. Okay, so the first part will be the image then and the second part will be the image extension and it will store it in this temp variable. So right now we're going to keep our image a unique name and we're going to use time function in order to give every image a unique name. So let me declare another variable, let's say dollar new file name equal to we we'll say here round to first bracket and inside this we are going to say micro time and this one will be true. And so after that we are going to give a dot here based to single quotation again dot again another dot and here we are going to mention this dollar temp and we are going to say here in dollar temp. Why? Because we only want to get the image extension like dot png or dot jp. So that's why we say it here dot in tmp. So here this will keep the image a unique name by using the type function and this will be the image extension. So right now we're going to say where or which folder we are going to store the image. So let me just create a folder here. So I just right click here, then click on new folder. Let's say our folder name will be uploads. So there you can see we have a folder here and in this folder we're going to upload our image. So right now we're going to say here another variable dollar let's say upload path equal to we'll give to double quotation and here we're going to mention the 
folder name which is uploads then we'll give a dot here then we need to mention this image name so we'll just paste it here and indeed with the semicolon and we also need to give a slash here because we want to upload the image to this folder with the new name okay so after this we need to move the image to this folder so we are going to say here move uploaded file and here in the file name we are going to say dollar underscore files then we are going to say my underscore image which also our uh, input field name where you can see name you to my image and after this again we we'll give to third bracket and we are going to mention it tmp underscore name so we are going to upload the image and here we need to mention the destination and the destination will be this one here you can see uploaded path where we say the image will be uploaded to this location with the new name and the previous name will be uh, previous image name will be tempo daddy but we we'll upload the image with the new name so right now if we just set this and if we now just go back to our browser then refresh here let's give a name email address a password and let me just choose a file from here this one click open there you can see a file name is written here if we now click on register there you can see data uploaded successfully and if we just go back to our code and here you can see if we now click on the upload folder there you can see we have the image so we are about to upload the image but the thing is we did not upload the image in the database so what we need to do is that we need to upload the image name the new image name in the database so how can we do it so in order to do it first of all let me just go to my database which is php tutorial then we'll go to our students table and i'm going to insert a column called image here so right now for it let me just pick on structure here you can see the structure also and if you go down here you can see we have add on column after password you can choose after email after name let me just choose after email then click on go and let's say the name will be image and the type will be worker let's say name will be 250 and let's just make it nullable and then uh, we'll click here and save so right now we'll have one more column called image here there you can see it is null so now we'll upload the image to this table so for it what we need to do is really simple so what we need to do is that we need to go to the SQL query here you can see inside the student name email password and here we'll give a comma here and we'll mention our image column name which will come from the database uh, which is this one where you can see image and here you can see we have the values field so in the values we are going to give a comma here then we need to single quotation and inside this to single quotation we are going to keep this uh, new file name and here in the new file name we give the image a new name using the time function so we we'll just copy this and we paste it here then save it so right now let me just uh, remove this hash from here pressing there let's give a name let's say yamin email will be yamin at the atom gmail.com random password choose file let me choose different file this time uh, let's choose this one css tutorial then click on open and now click on register and there you can see data uploaded successfully if we now just refresh our table uh, there you can see we have a data here in the image column there you can see a random name dot png file and if we just go to our port there you can see we have on more image here there you can see so this is how you can upload image to the database using bsp i hope this was easy for you to follow and understand. I tried my best to explain and I will also give this code in the comment section so that you can just type the copy it out. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorial.